As our temperatures increase, we start thinking about our warm season perennial forages, Bermuda grass, Bahia grass. We also start thinking about hay production. For those of us that are producing hay, we need to think about the quality of the product that we're producing because ultimately this hay is going to be utilized to feed livestock either during um, extreme environmental conditions such as drought or especially during the winter. And obviously our main point is to provide a nutritious product for livestock so they can maintain and continue to be productive. There are several factors that influence hay quality and we need to keep those in mind as we move into hay season. Several of those are in within our control as producers such as fertilizing our hay meadows. Um, nitrogen fertilization directly influences the crude protein content of our forages. The more nitrogen we apply, we can influence the crude protein value of that product. Now, protein is not the most important aspect of hay quality. Energy or digestibility is a very critical part of hay quality and providing energy for our livestock. Um, when they are growing or being productive. And unfortunately, fertilizer does not really impact the energy value or the digestibility of our forages uh, very much. What does influence digestibility or the energy value of our hay is going to be the harvesting time or the maturity of that forage. Unfortunately, as we go through the summer, that Bermuda grass or Bahia grass, as it grows and matures, we lose some of that digestibility or some of that energy value as we go through the season. So harvesting time, harvesting on a timely basis can optimize um, not only the energy value, but also the quantity of hay that we're producing. So we typically recommend um, every harvesting Bermuda grass every three to five weeks. Obviously that timeline will be influenced by weather conditions as well as if growth has been limited by lack of rainfall and other environmental factors. So fertile fertility can influence crude protein and harvesting time can influence the digestibility. Our temperatures throughout the season can also influence the quality of our forages, specifically the digestibility or energy value. Typically our best hay cutting is going to be at the beginning of the season when our temperatures are not necessarily as high as they, go, as they become once we move into June, July, and August here in Texas when we get pretty hot. So at those times as our temperatures increase, plants increase in the amount of fiber that is within the structure to maintain structure of the plant during those heated times. And then we lose some digestibility or energy value of that plant. If we have some cooler temperatures going into the fall towards the end of the season, we could see a, a nice bump in digestibility at that time with cooler temperatures. So there's a lot of factors that influence hay quality that we need to think about. Now's a good time before the season starts so we can make the best management decisions to produce a quality product for our livestock producers.